الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد يا الحبت في الله continue in our studies continue on in our studies of obstacles that prevent one from making uh, repentance or toba reach a portion of the treaties where Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullahi alayhi he said uh, one of the obstacles that prevents a person from making toba is always relying upon the mercy of Allah and what he means by this ahabatifillah is that some people they say well Allah is ghafoor rahim and this is sahih this is true this is these are sifat of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and from his asma from his names his divine names and attributes however but to rely upon that ex- success uh, excessively and while doing sins at the same time is incorrect and that a person is also forgetting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself that he is shadid al-iqab uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also is uh, severe in punishment as well and Abu Ali Abu Ali Ruthabani said rahmatullahi one of the things many are misled by is relying solely upon the mercy of Allah. And by doing so, they leave off making toba due to the fact of them believing Allah will always have mercy upon them. So they forget the other janet that Allah does have punishment, He does have torment. And at this, so we'll be held accountable for our deeds. We hope for His Rahmah and His mercy. Uh, so the worst of the people are those who consider their sins not to be great and they are by this misled into believing Allah is the most forgiving. Umar ibn Tha'ra said, Rahmatullahi O people who wrong themselves by disobeying their Lord, don't be misled into believing Allah will always be merciful to you. Be weary of such a delusion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَمَّا آسِفُونَ إِنْتَقَامْنَا مِنْهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this is referring to people who were sin- sinners. So when they angered us, we punished them and drowned all of them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does have a severe torment for the wicked sinner. And for those, so we shouldn't take sins lightly. Ibn al-Qayyum rahmatullahi said, O oh, you who are misled into believing Allah is always merciful, shaitan was cursed forever and expelled from that which he was in because of a simple order to prostrate. And what was Adam's sin? Was it not a small sin? Was it a big sin? By his sin was not, uh, by his sin, Adam was expelled uh, He was expelled by the garden. Was it not because of a small morsel of food? Does it not show that a small sin can destroy one forever? As did with the case with Iblis. So don't think you can go to hell. uh, Don't think you can't go to hellfire for one sin you commit. Because Allah says, وَلَا يَخَافُوا عُقْبَاهَا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So he feared not the consequences thereof meaning the consequences of his deeds and his sins. Did not a woman go to the hellfire because of how she treated her cat? A a man might say a single word and by it be thrown deep into the hellfire. So these are all examples illustrating in the Quran and the Sunnah the importance of being being, um, cautious about sin, being weary of your sin and taking account of your sin and your misdeeds and not to become heedless and careless about sin and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam